Hey, everybody. So my name is Quovadas Gates. Everybody calls me Quo. Um, my goal is to get a role as a sales engineer. While going about this goal, I decided to use my project management skills in order to build out a project for myself, which will lead me to getting that role. So um, I'm going to call this journey to the job. Um, I'm going to create this as if it was a system. The reason I'm creating it as a system is because I wanted to make it repeatable for anyone out there who's also on the same journey as myself, and they need a little guidance. Um, I'm not going to claim to have the guidance necessarily. I am just going to utilize my skills and show you my roadmap. And if that roadmaps work for you, then it does. If it doesn't, then thanks for watching the video. But also, one of the major parts of this is so that I can display my skills so that it can help me to land the role. So here we go. I am reading off a, a sheet of paper. This sheet right here is, okay, you can see it better. I'm going to change that so it isn't just blurry. But this sheet right here, and actually I'll pull it. I have two screens set up. So I'll pull it from my second screen because I took a photo of it. Okay, I took a photo of it. I'm going to pull it from my second screen and share my screen so that everybody can kind of see what I'm working from and I can be able to explain everything. All right, so now you guys are on my major home screen. I have two screens, so if you see me pulling things from one side, then it's because I have a screen set up here, which is my laptop, and then I have a monitor set up here. It's larger. It makes it easy for me to work. It's a skill that I learn while working actually in tech. And if you have any, um, if you're interested in what a sales engineer is, it's a role in tech where someone explains complex ideas, which is the journey that I'll go through as I document my, um, you know, maturation into becoming a sales engineer. All right, so here we go. So here is my project charter. A uh, charter is basically um, just all like the documents associated with whatever you're currently doing. I want you guys to be able to see it. So I'm going to make it a gallery. I'm going to make this pretty large. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so this just gives you a, a glimpse of what I'm reading. If my handwriting isn't good or if my spelling isn't phenomenal, then I'm no literary teacher. But this is how I work. I work best on paper, at least when I'm planning. I plan best on paper. And then from there, I can turn some of these documents to like an online document, which would give me the opportunity to be a bit more flexible with this. But having it on paper just allows for me to touch it, fill it, organize it. And then from here, I can transform it into something more professional. I'm not turning it, this into anyone. So it kind of doesn't matter to me. And I just want to be as efficient as possible. All right. So my mission is to document my journey um, to getting a sales engineer role and show how I'm going to go about it. That's my mission for this entire series of videos. My objective is to use a combination of many of my project management and sales skills to procure, procure, that's a project management term, but to procure a role as a sales engineer. Executive summary is to build out an effective and repeatable strategy to obtain interviews and land a role in the amount of $150,000 plus. $150,000 is my, my personal goal. If you have your own goals, whatever they may be, set those goals, keep those goals. I actually hate that I left this here simply because whatever your goal is, is your goal. I have my goal. I'm willing to work towards my goal and for my goal. And I hope that I actually surpass that goal. But that's my goal. So 150 is my goal. <clears throat> okay, so the way that I'm gonna, or the way that I learned to do things is by using 
SMART goals. So to do this, I'm going to use SMART goals. SMART stands for specific, measurable, attainable or achievable, relevant, and time-based. So specific, I want to specifically get a sales engineer role in cybersecurity, the cloud, or AI. Of course, I you know, I wanted to pay at least $150,000. Um, measurable. So weekly, I'm going to reevaluate the strategies to increase efficiency and allocate more time to things that are working. So when something isn't working, I'm not going to allocate a whole lot of time to it. I want to weekly make different adjustments so that I can make sure that I get to my journey in the most efficient route. Um, in terms of it being attainable or, or achievable, I broke this down into two different components. So it being attainable, um, I'll break down each one of these tasks into small chunks. Basically, what I want to eventually do is put out at least a thousand applications. I'm going to do 10 applications per week. I broke it down into six days. I don't plan to be perfect, and I plan to take a day to evaluate everything, which is, of course, a part of it being measurable, um, which means that I'll do about 17 different tasks per day. These tasks will be specifically my prospecting task. So 17 per day, 100 divided by six is like 16.6. .6. If you round up, you get 17. So I'm gonna do 17 per day. I'm gonna do that on a six week basis. And I wanna do this project for 10 weeks. The reason why it's important to me to do it for 10 weeks is because I have a goal to become a sales engineer by my college homecoming. Homecoming is at in 10 weeks. So here we go. We're along this journey. Making it relevant. Well, it's relevant because personally, I am a relationship builder and problem solver. This role combines the two of those things. So I'm specifically seeking this role because it combines a lot of things that I like. I can be technical in this role and go in deep about things that I'm really interested in, which are cybersecurity, cloud-based computing and automation or AI specifically. Um, I can build relationships because it's a relationship sale. So I come from real estate sales and my way of consistently selling homes or buildings, which was basically I would build relationships with people. And from those relationships, I would get referrals. From those relationships, I was able to get them to trust me to make these investments. And then um, the last one, T, to round off SMART is time base. Again, my time base is 10 weeks. I will do this for 10 weeks, and then I'll reevaluate. Um, and as you can see, it, you can see it right here. So time base, 10 weeks, then reevaluate. I will reevaluate a couple of different things. I don't know where this journey is going to lead me. I don't know what I'll learn along this journey. A couple of things I'm willing to reevaluate is, A, do I have the right tools and skill set in order to get the role? B, am I focused on the right sectors or the sectors that would be more advantageous to allowing me entry? And then C, is my output enough? You know, do I have to do more? Do I have to switch it from 100 applications, outreach, and prospecting per week to more. I don't know, but I'm willing to learn. And that's what you'll see along this journey with these videos. So we're going to move straight to the top. My scope. My scope will work. Now, this is important because it allows for you to do what you're tasked to do and not to do things outside of your task. And also, I think that for us job seekers, this is important because it will allow us to not be down on ourselves um, in terms of how I plan my scope and things that are out of my scope. I can only control the controllables. What I can control is my output. What I can control is my effort. What I can control is my consistency. That Those are the things that I can control. 
I can control my education. This is another thing. But I can't control if someone picks me or sees value in me or wants to make the investment in me. I really can't control that. So I won't allow it to shake my confidence. I think confidence is one of the most valuable assets that a person can have. I take pride in educating myself and building myself up to have certain levels of confidence. I don't necessarily think like there's a such thing as the most confident person. And it's plenty of things that I'm not probably most confident at, but I don't want this journey to attack my self-esteem in any way. So for me, in terms of scope, the scope is um, to get attraction. Um, and through that attraction, I plan to land 100 interviews. So if I'm putting out 1,000 outreach and applications per week, then if my result is 100 interviews, that's a 10% return on my effort. I think that it's kind of realistic. But of course, along this journey, I'll see if it's even realistic at all. And then things that are out of my scope, which goes back to this confidence piece is um, actually depending on the company to believe in me and land a role. Landing a role is just a bit out of my scope. I cannot make the final decision. I don't know who my competition is. I don't know what a company is necessarily looking for. Um, you know, sometimes you just get picked on like ability. I hope I'm likable. Like, I don't know. So because I don't know and because I don't have full control over making a final decision, I won't, I won't put that on my heart whatsoever. But what's in my scope is my effort, and the effort is to put out 1,000 outreach methods and to get 10% return, which should result in about 100 interviews. And if I get 10% return on 100 interviews, that should result in about 10 offers. If I get 10 offers, oh my goodness, that, you know, that would, um, that would be a joy. It really would. It would check all boxes. And I'm pretty sure I'd be able to um, negotiate and be efficient in choosing the role that'll progress me forward. So the methods that I'm going to use are prospecting, cold outreach, prospecting here, all of this stuff around it, I'll explain, cold outreach, and content creation. So we'll start at the bottom. Content creation. This video, I'm title, titling it Journey to the Job. That'll be the title of this video series that I'm going to make. This video is an example of content creation. I'm also going to continue to work on a portfolio that I've been working on. My portfolio is me reading scripts. My portfolio is me discussing certain topics and then news on the industry. That's an idea that I have. I'm not sure if I'll execute it because I need to also be efficient with my time. I have a life. I, ha I actually have a job now. I'm just looking for a role that's more suitable. And it's the goal that I have to get this role. And then I'm also going to do for content creation, graphics, illustrating topics. So these graphics would just be an opportunity for me to explain what was discussed in a lot of these videos. Um, for this one, graphics, the role doesn't require me to be able to make any graphics. I'm putting that out there to say that I won't promise to you guys that I'm going to be perfect. What I will promise to you guys is that I will put out a thousand outreach and applications throughout 10 weeks. I will try hard to do at least one video per week. Those are things that I'm going to promise. Um, the graphics, I'm not going to promise just simply because I don't know where that leads me and I don't know how much time I'll need to invest into doing that. I know how to design graphics and sometimes graphics take a long time. Sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes it just doesn't feel like the most efficient thing to do, especially because getting a graphic design job is in my current goal. So. The meth, um, coming back up here to prospecting, I'm doing this one last because prospecting is a complex thing and I need to show you um, what I mean by that.
how's it going so the full video is 30 minutes long you can get the full video if you go on youtube linkedin only allows for us to post a video that's 30 minutes long i think the full video is like 32 minutes long so i cut it into two sections if you want to know more about prospecting the next video will say journey to the job part one section two it'll probably also have prospect and in parentheses so that you can learn more about prospecting again if you want the full video go to youtube if you um, are comfortable with waiting for the next one which i'm just gonna release it the next day then that video will be released thank you for watching i hope you are either enjoying or or learning